Hello everyone. The purpose of this uh, video tutorial is to take you through the weighted average cost of capital. Now if you refer to the class slides, um, you will see that, uh, well we have a definition here, the cost of capital is a composite cost to the firm of raising finance to fund its project. Ooh, uh, by reading this definition I don't really know where this is going from and as usual I would like to come up with uh, hopefully a simple understanding of what we're trying to achieve here. So what I will do is uh, I'll take you back to my favorite equation. You remember from class assets equal equity plus liabilities. And uh, normally what I like to do is um, I like to tell the students that there are two ways of, of financing assets. There are only two ways. One of them is, well, through equity financing, and the other one is liabilities. Now, liabilities, um, we can change that. We can also call it, for now, we can call it debt, right? So basically, the equation goes assets equals equity plus debt. Now, to fund the assets, normally, if we are to attract equity holders, so basically, we put shareholders uh, and convince them to buy shares uh, in the company, what they want is they would want some form of return, right? Uh, the shareholders wouldn't put their money in the business if they didn't have a form of return. And we also, well, referring to class, we calculated the return to the shareholders using, well, you will remember the CAPM or the Capital Asset Pricing Model. But here, we have to understand one thing. Uh, the return, so the return to the shareholders, so basically what the shareholders want as return for putting their money uh, into the company. Well, when you look at it from the company's perspective, this refer to the cost. So this is a cost to the company. Yes, so let's assume that using the cap M, you've determined that the rate of return, let's say, is 12%. Okay, so this is a return to the shareholder, but at the same time, it is also a cost to the company. Because, think about it, this is for the company, you have to guarantee a return of 12% to the shareholders. When it comes to debt, now, Debt, let's try to be very, very simple here. Uh, let's assume that to fund the purchase of assets, you also had to approach the bank. Now, when you go to the bank, I'm sure uh, the bank don't give money for free. They would normally charge interest. So the bank will say probably, well, uh, you know what? I have no issue um, loaning you some money, but I will charge you, uh, I'm making up these figures here, let's say 8%, right? So bank saying, all right, you know what, I will charge you 8%. Uh, but think about it again, um, for the company, this is a cost of debt, right? So 12%, remember, if we're um, guaranteeing a return of 12% for the shareholders, this is a return to the shareholders, but this is the cost to the company. And uh, if we have borrowed some money with the bank, uh, and the bank saying, well, you know what, um, I can loan you the money, but you can, you will have to pay me 8% interest, then the interest rate, uh, well here, 8% will be the cost to the company. Now, my question is this, let's say altogether we have raised, so a combination of equity and debt, we have raised a total of, um, let's say, right, $20,000. Yes, in total we have raised $20,000. Uh, and we have raised this money by using a combination of equity and a combination of debt. Now my question to uh, is this, is it fair to say that the $20,000, the cost is only 
12%. Is it fair to say that, uh, remember, we raised the $20,000 through equity and debt, right? So it was a combination of equity and debt. Is it fair to say that the cost, uh, we can call that, well, we raised $20,000, we can also call that, well, in financial terms, capital. Is it fair to say that our cost of capital, our cost of capital is only 20%. Is it, is it fair to say that? And the answer is, well, of course not. Why? Because remember, 12% um, is only the cost of equity finance, right? So it's not fair to say that the cost of capital is only 12%. Now I'm going to ask another question here. Is it, oh, is it fair to say, is it fair to say that the cost of capital, so the cost of raising those $20,000, is it fair to say that it's only 8%? Well, I know what you're thinking. Well, 8% is the cost of debt, so we cannot say that uh, raising those $20,000 costs 8%. So I hope you see where I'm going here. Um, basically, the cost of capital has to be a combination of a combination of the cost of equity and the cost of debt, right? It has to be a combination of the cost of equity or a cost of debt. Or, if you want to put it another way, it has to be an average cost between equity and debt. Now, in financial terms, uh, we don't, well, we use the term average cost, but uh, we like to refer to it as the weighted average cost of capital. This is simply because, well, first of all, we are financing the business through a combination of equity and debt. Uh, remember, we raised 20,000. This could have been 50-50, maybe. It could have been 10,000 equity, 10,000 debt. And the, the cost of raising the finance, as I said, it's a, it's, it has to be a combination of the cost of equity as well as the cost of debt. Now, what I will do, I will try to break the lecture down uh, step by step so that you understand every concept as we move along. So uh, I won't make it uh, this a long video. I want you to just reflect on uh, how the cost of capital, so the cost of raising finance in our case, because we're using equity and debt, how it is a combination of both equity and debt, and how it cannot only be 12%, nor can it only be 8%. Okay, so I'm going to stop the lecture here uh, so that you can reflect on uh, what I've just said, and I will carry on. Um, going into detail by looking at, well, well, we've looked at the CAPM already, so my next video will be looking at the cost of debt. So see you in the next video.